Alrighty, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another video. It is currently Monday morning and this week's video is gonna be a week long vlog and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts every day about what it's like being a teacher and just like how I feel at the end of every day so you can kind of get a sense of the ups and downs of being a high school teacher here in Australia. Uh, it's currently Monday morning at like 6.30 in the morning uh, and looking forward to another good week. It's week five of term one in 2023. So. Uh, welcome back to the video, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Mark and I'm a high school teacher from Australia. Let's get into this week. So every Monday morning I like to prep my Monday and Tuesday if I can. Uh, had a chat to my head of department as you can see here, we're talking about rerunning assessment but also really just catching up. We get along really well which is great and it's lovely to have a whole entire department really that everyone gets along with each other. It's refreshing and it's lovely to start a Monday like that. And in this clip I'm getting a free coffee from hospitality student, not to mention a delicious muffin. with me, she was laughing at me. Thank you. All right, team, let's get going. By switching both and negating both, we get the contrapositive, which is what we looked at last lesson. But if we switch both without any negation, it's called the converse. Oh, sorry, Alice. I I'm answered your question correctly, but in the wrong way. Uh, in this case, with the M and N, if we were negating, we would use the normal sense, yeah. but we're not so negating. Yeah. 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 Today we're looking at expanding brackets. This distributive law part, don't be intimidated by it. It's just a fancy way of saying, we're going to be expanding brackets. It'll make sense shortly why it's called that. Now, what is the actual answer when we just did bod mass? 33, so we're looking for the method. Ah, yes, but it comes before addition, but after brackets, yeah? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. So, our correct answer that we're definitely looking for is 33. And as we can see, the method that generates 33 is the second method. So this is my first duty in the sports center. I supervise the basketball students as they play and practice their basketball. And then in the clip after this, I am watching the rugby league trials for year seven and eight. Enjoy. Alrighty, good morning everyone. It is currently Tuesday at 6.20 a.m. and I'm back from the gym. I love working out in the morning, mostly because I don't feel like it in the afternoon. Um, to that point, yesterday when I came home, I planned on doing a recap of Monday, but I was absolutely drained. I left school at about uh, five o'clock, so I didn't get home till about 5.30 and I was absolutely wrecked. So um, I figured I'd do the recap this morning, but just goes to show that if I can't even get on camera for five minutes at the end of a the day, there's no way I'm going to the gym for an hour. So yeah, I really enjoy doing it in the morning, get it out of the way. Um, and my gym is amazing, all the supportive people. So if you're not uh, a member of a gym, I mean, I go to a place called Fit Stop, which is kind of like F45. Um, I never thought I'd like those community gyms, but they are really, really awesome especially if you find one with good people, so highly recommend that. But anyway, yesterday uh, was a really long day. But today is definitely not gonna be as long of a day. I'm starting just as early as you can see here. This morning I'm going to get into work late because there's nothing I need to do this morning. Um, I'm gonna do some filming, uh, some recording rather, here on the editing, the third part of this process. <laughs> not filming, not recording. 
filming and recording are the same thing. Anyway, I digress. I'm gonna do some editing, some pre-editing just to get all the files and stuff in Premiere Pro so I can get it done. But in terms of teaching, other than a really long day yesterday, I had a good day. Um, all my kids were great. I had some good lessons which I filmed and you would have seen footage of that yesterday. If not, I'll put the footage in now of me teaching. Uh, I have another channel called How to Maths where I post all of my maths videos. Um, so if you're a maths teacher or interested in maths, feel free to check that out. Um, link will be in the description or up on the screen or whatever. I don't know how to do YouTube yet. But anyway, today I've got four lessons straight. I don't have any spare periods, uh, but I do have both lunch duties free. So I'm going to be probably spending my second break helping students with their assignments. So first break is gonna be mine to eat and to just uh, take a moment for myself. I might even go for a walk down to the coffee shop just to get away from people. Um, I talked about in my introverted video um, how important it is to designate a period of time during the day that you are by yourself and I really need that so first break today um, I will be filming second period today and potentially third period so I'll intersperse footage of that if needed otherwise I'll see you throughout the rest of the day so one extra thing I want to point out is that every single day I wear a fun pair of socks to work I think it's just something that I don't know the kids really like and I really enjoy it so I'm going to show you my sock drawer which has all my socks in it as you can see here, there are quite a lot of them. Um, all of these ones are the fun socks, then I've just got your regular socks. Uh, today's pair of socks that we're wearing are hot dogs. See that? <laughs> Little mustard on their back. Anyway, I think they're cute. Uh, I'm gonna share, I forgot to share yesterday's socks. What was yesterday? Okay, it's actually Future Mark checking in with you. It's Saturday morning at the end of the week, but I'm doing this quick clip to add into the Monday vlog because uh, in the next day, on Tuesday, I talk about the socks I'm wearing each day. I'll let you uh, build the anticipation for that part of the video, but I just wanted to show you that in that clip, I'm wrong about the socks I wore on Monday. I vividly remember now what I wore. These are probably my favorite pair of socks, and they're actually socks with my face on them. <laughs> they also say, uh, let me see if I can get it perfectly there for you, Mr. O'Donoghue, written on them as well. Faces all the way down, uh, and these were given to me a couple of years ago by a year 12 student when they were leaving. Uh, it's one of my most treasured possessions, actually, one of my favorite pairs of, or actually my favorite pair of socks. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, teaching is tough, as you're gonna see over the next week of footage. I get very uh, fatigued and run down, but uh, stuff like this and the students that give them to you uh, really make it all worthwhile. So it's Saturday and the week is done, and whatever I say in the clips at the end of the day, I survived and I'm happy and I love my job. So let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Enjoy. So it's first break and as advertised, I am having lunch by myself. I'll probably go into the staff room later and interact with everybody. But I really just need, you know, 10, 15 minutes to just relax and chill out. Got two senior classes coming up. One's working on an assignment and one is doing some high level integration. Uh, it's a high level mathematical concept. So looking forward to them. Um, yeah, otherwise I'm gonna, gonna enjoy my sandwich, drink a bunch of water and then prepare for the last two periods of the day. Probably won't record much, if anything, in those. Um, so next time I'll see you will be after school most likely. So see you then. Alrighty, uh, it's Tuesday afternoon. I am home now and it is 3.54. So a little bit later than I wanted to get home, but it's not so bad. Uh, especially because most people work till 5, 5.30. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. But with that said, I'm exhausted yet again. Uh, yes, Tuesday is one of my bigger days because I don't have any spare periods on a Tuesday to get stuff done. And my second break, I was helping students and stuff. So pretty full on day. I had, I guess, 30, 40, probably about 30 minutes spare to have lunch and just to chill out. So it was quite full on. Home now though, so happy with that. Probably going to, it's really hot at the moment. I, put, I wore long pants today 
because I thought it was going to be cooler. Alexa told me it was going to be 27 degrees. Feels like a lot more, so I'm going to put some aircon on, probably bring my laptop downstairs where the couches are and do some uh, editing down here. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty hectic start of the week, but the saving grace for me, at least the way my timetable is set up, is that Wednesdays are a lot more chilled out. Uh, we ha I have a spare period and our period one, instead of being a class, is kind of like a um, chance for us to meet in our like teaching teams. Like a, It's called professional learning time, uh, learning teams and it's a chance for us to like collaborate and stuff so it's not interacting with students so it's sort of i treat it kind of like another spare period um so wednesdays are very chill for me so i'm looking forward to tomorrow it's a nice way to separate the week and thursdays are pretty hectic so i'll be doing a lot of planning for then um so yeah it's gonna be largely uneventful for the rest of the night i'm just gonna chill out and uh, I'll probably pick this up in the morning on Wednesday for the hump day, which is also, thankfully for me, the best day. So, see you then. <laughs>